हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ कॉमन सीक्वेंसेस फर्स्ट लेट अस कंसीडर यूनिट इंपल्स सीक्वेंस यूनिट इंपल्स सीक्वेंस कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड एज x ऑफ n इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा ऑफ n नाउ वी कैन टेक द ट्रांसफॉर्म x ऑफ z इज इक्वल टू summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z to the power of minus n in place of x of n let us write delta of n so we can write this as summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity delta of n z to the power of minus n we know that delta of n is equal to 1 for n equal to 0 and it will be 0 for n not equal to 0 so this is the representation of delta of n so we have only one value for delta of n which is 1 at n is equal to 0 so this summation value will be equal to 1 for all the values of z now let us find roc for this sequence since we got the answer as 1 the roc will be in entire z plane since we got z transform as 1 roc will be in entire z plane let us take the z plane with real term in x axis and imaginary term in y axis so roc will be in entire z plane now let us consider the unit step sequence we can represent unit step sequence as x of n is equal to u of n therefore z transform we can write it as x of z is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z to the power of minus n therefore x of z can be written as summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity in place of x of n we can write u of n into z to the power of minus the n we know the sequence u of n it will be equal to 1 for n value greater than or equal to 0 it will be 0 for n less than 0 so this is the representation of u of n so using this analysis we can write x of z as summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity so if we take n is equal to 0 to infinity we will get u of n as 1 at that case we can write this as 1 into z to the power of minus n so this sequence we can write it as summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity z inverse whole to the power of n now we know the formula which is the standard formula which can be written as summation of n1 to n2 a to the power of n we can write it as a to the power of n1 minus a to the power of n2 minus 1 divided by 1 minus a for magnitude of a less than 1 here magnitude of a should be less than 1 so in the problem we are having the summation from n is equal to 0 to infinity a to the power of n we can write that as a to the power of 0 minus a to the power of infinity plus 1 divided by 1 minus a here a to the power of infinity plus 1 will be equal to 0 for a value less than 1 at that case we can write this sequence as a to the power of 0 is 1 divided by 1 minus a 
So using this formula, we can write x of z is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus z inverse. So we can write this as z divided by z minus 1. So this is the z transform for the unit step sequence. So this condition is true for magnitude of z inverse less than 1. Now let us find ROC. To find ROC let us use this condition where magnitude of z inverse should be less than 1. So we can write this as magnitude of 1 by z should be less than 1. So this is nothing but magnitude of z should be greater than 1. So here ROC should be greater than 1. So let us take the z plane with real term in x axis, imaginary term in y axis. So here we need to draw a circle with radius 1 and the ROC will be outside this circle. So ROC is greater than 1. So this is the region of convergence for unit step sequence. Now let us consider the unit ramp sequence. We can represent unit ramp sequence as x of n is equal to r of n. So this sequence we can write it as n into u of n. So instead of r of n we can write it as n into u of n. Therefore we can write z transform x of z is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z to the power of minus n. So in place of x of n we can write it as n into u of n. So we can write summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity n into u of n z to the power of minus n. Since u of n is equal to 1 for n value greater than or equal to 0 and it will be equal to 0 for n value less than 0. So we can write the above equation as x of z is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity. So we will take n value from 0 to infinity n into in place of u of n it is 1 from 0 to infinity into z to the power of minus n. So we can write this as summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity n into z to the power of minus n. Now we can expand this sequence. So we can write x of z is equal to if you put n value as 0 in this expression so we will get 0 plus if you put n is equal to 1 we will get 1 into z to the power of minus 1 if you put n is equal to 2 we will get 2 into z to the power of minus 2 if we put n is equal to 3 in that case we will get 3 into z to the power of minus 3 plus and so on up to infinity so this is the z transform for the given sequence for the same sequence we can write z transform in one more way so if we consider this expression we can write x of z is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity n into z inverse whole to the power of n so remember a formula which states that summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity n into alpha to the power of n we can write that as alpha divided by 1 minus alpha square so using this formula we can write x of z is equal to z inverse divided by 1 minus z inverse whole square so this is for magnitude of 
z inverse less than 1 because this formula is valid for magnitude of alpha less than 1. So that's why magnitude of z inverse should be less than 1. Now let us find ROC. To find ROC, let us take this condition. So we can write magnitude of z inverse should be less than 1. At that case, magnitude of z should be greater than 1. So ROC will be greater than 1. Now let us consider the exponential sequence. We can write exponential sequence as x of n is equal to exponential to the power of minus j omega n u of n. Therefore, we can write x of z is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z inverse. So in place of x of n, we can write exponential term. So we can write summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity exponential to the power of minus j omega n u of n to z to the power of minus n. Again here u of n term will be equal to 1 from n is equal to 0 to infinity. Therefore, we can write x of z is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity exponential to the power of minus j omega n z to the power of minus n. So this sequence, we can write it as summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity exponential to the power of minus j omega into z inverse whole to the power of n. Again, we know the formula summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity alpha to the power of n. We can write that as 1 divided by 1 minus alpha. Using this formula, we can write x of z is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus exponential to the power of minus j omega z inverse. This is for magnitude of z inverse exponential to the power of minus j omega less than 1. Therefore, we can write x of z is equal to z divided by z minus exponential to the power of minus j omega. So this is the z transform for the exponential sequence. Now we can find ROC. To find ROC, let us consider this sequence where magnitude of z inverse exponential to the power of minus j omega should be less than 1. So from this, we can write magnitude of z should be greater than 1. So this is the ROC for exponential sequence. Similarly, if the exponential sequence is given as exponential to the power of j omega n u of n, we can write the z transform as z divided by z minus exponential to the power of j omega. So for this sequence, you can solve in the same way. Now let us consider sinusoidal sequence. We can represent sinusoidal sequence as x of n is equal to sin omega n u of n. Therefore, we can write x of z is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z to the power of minus n. Let us substitute the value of x of n. We can write x of z is equal to summation of u of n value will be from 0 to infinity. So that's why we'll write n is equal to 0 to infinity sine omega n into 1 into z to the power of minus n. Since sine theta can be written as exponential to the power of j theta minus exponential to the power of minus j theta divided by 2j. We can write the sequence as x of z is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity. So we can write exponential to the power of j omega n minus exponential to the power of minus j omega n divided by 2j into 
z to the power of minus n. Now let us take 1 by 2j outside the summation. We can write summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity exponential to the power of j omega n z to the power of minus n minus summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity exponential to the power of minus j omega n z to the power of minus n. So we can write this sequence as 1 divided by 2j into summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity exponential to the power of j omega into z inverse whole to the power of n minus summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity exponential to the power of minus j omega to z inverse whole to the power of n. So we can write this as 1 divided by 2j. So we know the formula for the sequence a to the power of n. So we will use the formula. So we will get 1 divided by 1 minus exponential to the power of j omega z inverse minus 1 divided by 1 minus exponential to the power of minus j omega z inverse. So this is for magnitude of z inverse less than 1. Therefore, we can write x of z is equal to 1 divided by 2j into if we take LCM, we will get z divided by z minus exponential to the power of j omega minus z divided by z minus exponential to the power of minus j omega. So we can write x of z is equal to 1 divided by 2j. So here in the denominator, if we take LCM, z minus exponential to the power of j omega into z minus exponential to the power of minus j omega. So we will get in the numerator z into z minus exponential to the power of minus j omega minus z into z minus exponential to the power of j omega. So above expression can be simplified as 1 divided by 2j into z into exponential to the power of j omega minus exponential to the power of minus j omega whole divided by z square minus z into exponential to the power of j omega plus exponential to the power of minus j omega plus 1. Therefore, we can write the z transform x of z is equal to z into sin omega whole divided by z square minus 2z cos omega plus 1. So this is the z transform for sinusoidal sequence. Now let us find the ROC. So ROC can be found using this sequence. So we can write magnitude of z inverse should be less than 1. So we can write this as magnitude of z should be greater than 1. So here ROC should be greater than 1. Similarly, for cos omega n u of n, we'll get the z transform as z into cos omega divided by z square minus 2z cos omega plus 1. Again here ROC will be magnitude of z greater than 1. So ROC will be greater than 1. So this is about the z transform of some common sequences. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.